everyone, it's me, Pandora. Welcome back to Primrose Lake. We are going to start. One part is not going to be in because I can't find it for some reason. And it's where the sheriff goes and gets evidence about the girl Jessica's thing. So we're going to start on number nine. I recorded this already, but my mic wasn't on, so I had to re-record this all over again. So, let's get going. Simmer down and eat your pie. But that's all you missed in the beginning was the sheriff uh, looking at things. I'm telling you, sugar, it doesn't matter who comes to town. The person hasn't been born who can outdo your freight in fate in the kitchen. And I keep telling you, flattery won't get you into heaven, so you may as well knock it off. Well, speak of the devil and she arrive appears. What brings you... In your ears burning. I was hungry. You're not going to get much competition if you're sitting in here instead of running that calf. I know why she's here. Spying on the competition. You can stay here all day if you want. I'm not worried. Sugar there has something they just can't teach talent ah yes that was it why don't you take a seat we'll show you how it's done thanks serve customers pie and a coffee This is, I want to say, a bowl of cereal, looks like. Make me another pie. say that's like a bowl of cereal or something. Two stars. So, what you think of that? Think you can make pies that good, that fast? It was really impressive. 
Hmm. There's no need for sarcasm. Almost had it. The voice on the other end of the phone. No, sir, I haven't been drinking. I'm telling you, there's are two of them. Mm-hmm. Of course not. Uh-huh. Well, I'm pretty sure this girl's running the calf is the one we want. Well, who would spend all day making coffee if she didn't have to? No, sir. No, I guess I'm not sh sure. Well, Ox has got the other one up at the sawmill. Yes, sir. Yes, absolutely. I'll keep an eye on her till I hear from you. Who's on the phone? Trouble follows me everywhere. Make it easier for me. There you are, you just ran out. What's this? You ran out without paying? Don't you don't think you can do that here? No, I didn't. I It was taking so long I thought I'd come back later. So you wouldn't be late opening the calf. Wait, she snuffed you and then she lied about coming here? No, it's not. That's not what happened at all. I just, I was going back to the calf, but. And you thought you'd come spy on us instead. No, that wasn't it at all. Well, we expect you to pay for that coffee. And you're going to pay half of, going to have to pay for them hymns on them pants of course of course well since you're in no rush to open the calf let's get you shirt pinned I did not I did plan to come back bring items to Fiona Yeah, I want to say this is like a bowl of cereal.
It's raining. It's a very rainy day today in Kentucky. If y'all didn't know where I was from. <laughs> Nope, two stars. There you go. That didn't take long now, did it? You must be really impatient if you can't stand still long enough for that. It's okay, she's a city mouse. City mouse ain't last too long a primrose. That's what I told her. Can I take this shirt off now? Unless you want me to sew it with you in it. Oh, Fiona. I'm sure Miss Clary doesn't have time for that. She's got to get back to the calf after all. I, um, yes. You're lucky Mr. Evans came by. You finally have an excuse to be in a hurry. Nice meeting you all. Be sure to leave that shirt at the store. Almost. Mind your P's and Q's. Bring my coffee to my table, would you, Mags? Looks like you're getting really chummy with the Clary girl. Me? Well, it is fun to have a new face in town. Things are can get pretty routine around here, you know? That's what I like about it. Isn't that right, Doc? S staying for breakfast, Fiona? Nah, I think I'll grab a latte and a croissant at the cafe. They, they've got really tasty croissants. What'd she say? Where's she going? She says she already ate. You lied to her. Serve steak to customers. Give her her stuff. Need another pie.
two stars. I can't get three stars on any of it. What can I do for you, Sheriff? I guess you've heard Ox has gone missing. What's that to me? I found something during my investigation. I thought you might be able to help. It says here, Mima and Pa, right before she disappeared in 1927. Your family's from Primrose, right? My great-grandfather milled the first logs sent down the river. Any idea who these folks are in the picture? Hmm. Looks to me like the person who wrote this note wasn't even sure. Well, looks like to me it was taken up at the old Clary place. Well, I guess what you got there is a bunch of a picture of a bunch of Clarys. Any idea what it would be doing in the mud out at Islands Park? The close I get to Islands Park is a sawmill, and that's all the way across the lake. Have a good day, Sheriff. <laughs> He's a hiding something. But that'll be it for this video. I'm hoping y'all are enjoying Welcome to Primrose Lake because I am enjoying it. I love this story already. And I can't wait to see what happens to Jessica and Jenny and how it all fits in together. Why they look so much alike. And what the secret is that uh, Mr. Evans is hiding. But if you do, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you know when I upload. I upload daily. And I will see y'all in the next video. If you're not afraid, open that box. Bye, guys.